Where did you grow up? Could you describe for us your early childhood? My daddy was both jazz musician and CIA man. This is serious. <laughs> uh, and so I was born in Virginia, uh, Alexandria, Virginia, which is a suburb of the CIA. Uh, but my dad. <laughs> that's your dad. And uh, but my daddy was away on business. He was in Cairo, Egypt, installing a dictator. And so my, that meant that I was shipped over there when I was two months old to Cairo and from there to Beirut. And I didn't get back to America until I was 18. So that whole time, I'm in the weird zone of the world, an American. I went to an American school. I'm American. Everything great was American. So I've always been hyper aware of being American. Most of you here, as Americans, you don't, you're not identified as an American every day. But I was. I was the American kid. And so that instills a strange kind of patriotism in a weird sort of way. I'm sure. Did you, at what point did you know your dad was in the CIA? It was from the very beginning, or? No, no. Uh, in fact, my brother Miles came home from school one day and I says, Dad, are you a spy? <laughs> to which my father responded, who wants to know? <laughs> what did you guys think he did up to well, that point? Well, my mother used to, said years later, my mother said, you could always tell the spies by the trivial nature of their conversation. They wouldn't, you know, a spy is the one guy in the room who's not talking politics. And, uh, and one of my father's best friends was Kim Philby, a British double agent. And one of my friends was Harry, his son Harry Philby. We're kind of parallel families. And one day, their daddy disappeared. And double agent meaning KGB as yes. well as... Yeah. One day, their daddy disappeared. True blue English MI5, uh, blue blood, disappeared. Two weeks later, he showed up in Moscow. He had been a double agent all along. He's one of my father's best friends. And they knew that there was a leak. The British had a leak. And they were, it's got to be Philby. It's got to be Kim Philby. And then he just, it was getting hot for him. He disappeared. So that's what Harry Philby had to deal with, with spy daddy. At least my spy daddy wasn't a double agent, you know. <laughs>